This is an AI business that you can start and launch today. And this video, I'm gonna give you all the tools to get started. So if you didn't watch my previous video, I walked through how to edit long form content into short form content using this tool called Opus Clip. And you'll see the video in the top right corner right now if you wanna click and watch through. That video will give a full walkthrough of how to use this tool. In this video, I'm just gonna do a short walkthrough, just as a reminder. But basically, this tool takes your long form content on something like YouTube and cuts it into short form content, kinda of like this. Uh, let's click this one. Especially given your experience about consumer preferences. So it takes this podcast clip, cuts it up, it adds subtitles like you'd see on TikTok or Instagram Reels, just makes it more engaging, and it makes it just under a minute. It's perfect for your social media pages or if you wanna to upload to YouTube Shorts. This tool makes it incredibly easy to edit your content down. And it's super simple, let's go up. I'm gonna click My Dashboard, you'll have a sign in button. When you sign in, you'll get to this page. All you gotta do is drop a YouTube link. Let's go find one right now, let's go to youtube.com. Let's say I want this video right here. I'd right click, copy link address, I drop it right here. it take a second to load, then you'll click Get Clips in one click. When it's ready, it'd shoot out something like this. I'm gonna click a video that I uploaded the other day. And it turns that long form content into a bunch of viral short form clips at various lengths. See this one's 16 seconds, this one's 22 seconds, this one's 28 seconds. And it's just using AI to find the most viral parts of your clip and then cutting it down into shorter content. So it's a very easy AI tool to use. And the important part to know here is that short form content is very important in growing a presence online. So a lot of creators are looking for short form content from their long form content, but they don't have the time to create it, or they don't have the tools, or they don't have the know-how or the editing skills. So something like Opus Clips gives you that tool set to quickly turn your long form content into short form content. So it's an amazing tool. And therefore the AI business that you could launch is creating this content for other creators you could create a short form content agency using a tool like Opus Clip. So in order for this business model to work, you need a few things. I'm gonna provide you guys with a free bubble template. It's a website landing page. If you were to start this AI short form content agency, uh, let's go through it right now. Okay, I'm on bubble and this is the free template that I'm gonna provide. You're gonna click the link in the description and you're gonna download this to your bubble profile. This is how it looks, the landing page. You're gonna be able to edit it with your own colors your own logo, your own text. This is a good starting point. So let's walk through what's going on on this landing page for your AI short form content agency. So first we got a headline and the headline says you get one month free of viral shorts created from your long form video content. It's a good way to start getting clients as you offer your services for free. And with a tool like Opus Clip, like I showed you previously, it's gonna be super easy to turn their long form content into short form content. It's gonna take you no time at all. Just with a few clicks of a mouse, you can start creating content for your clients. So what's gonna happen is when they land on this page, if they're interested, they're gonna enter their email address, they're gonna give you a YouTube channel URL so you can take a look at their stuff, they're gonna write their full name, they're gonna show you the number of subscribers, and they're gonna choose their channel category. And it's all the categories that you have on YouTube when you upload a video. When they're ready, they're gonna click Submit. We got some text down here. We are offering them a limited time, no obligation free offer. Okay, we wanna show them how good we are as an agency and how we can turn their long form content into short form content. We're gonna grow their channel by getting more views, more subscribers and watch time. And they're also gonna get more revenue with these automatic YouTube shorts. So if you're providing them more content, more videos are more opportunities for their channel to get seen by the YouTube algorithm. So let's say they upload 30 videos a month and you give them three viral shorts for each of those 30 videos, that's 90 extra videos on their channel picked up by the YouTube algorithm and potentially giving them impressions and views. And I have two more links down here. I have if they wanna learn more about the process, let's click this and this is what it says. You can change your own business model. This is what I had set up for you. Step one, and we're gonna go over this in a second. Grant your email address, your business email address, editor limited permissions on their YouTube channel. So I'll save this for a bit, but basically this allows you to upload the shorts for them so they don't even have to touch it. Step two, you're gonna to subscribe to a channel webhook. Now there's a few ways to do this. We can do this with Pably Connect. I think I'm gonna save this for another video, but you can also do this manually. You can subscribe to them and get notifications when they upload a new video, so you can automatically turn that video into shorts or you can just manually go to their page each day at a set time, let's say noon, 6 p.m., and check if they have a new video, and if they have a new video, you turn it into a short. Step three, you gotta download their latest video, 
and when you have editor limited permissions you're going to be able to do that you can also set it up where they upload their video to a dropbox or a google drive and you get it automatically that's up to you to decide if you want to do it that way i thought the easiest way was just to download it from the youtube page Step four, you're gonna take that video, or also you can just take their video URL and throw it right into Opus Clips as I showed before. So there's a few ways to do it, or you can download their video and upload it too. And then I'll go over this step four because you're gonna upload the short to their channel, and then you're gonna write an SEO optimized title and description with relevant hashtags for that new YouTube short. And what I would do is, is let's go back to Opus Clips. I'm back in my dashboard here. We go to that latest video. What I would do is this. So let's say this is the clip that Opus spit out and I was gonna use for the short form video content on the person's channel. I would take this transcript. So I'm gonna copy it right here. I go into chat GPT. I create a new chat, make sure it's on the default GPT-4. And I would say, write me a short YouTube video description for this video. Optimize it for SEO and provide a few relevant hashtags. And then I would do this. I would paste in the transcript of that video. I hit enter and I just take whatever it spits out and I put that right into the YouTube description. I just copy this, paste it right in. So it takes an extra 30 seconds to do that, but your clients are gonna love it. And then you don't even have to write the title. The title's already created by Opus Clip, so I just copy this and then that's the title. So let's close this stuff. And then step five, this is optional and I might provide this as an upsell like a premium service is you post that short form content automatically on their other social media channels like Instagram Reels, TikTok, and Facebook Stories. On the premium plan of Opus Clips, there's an option automatically upload your videos to your other social accounts. So I just do it right from Opus Clips. But you could also get their login details for all of this stuff and post it manually. So that's an option there. Let's close that pop up. And then I have another text here, why you need shorts. Let's click this. Basically, it's what I parroted before. Short form content gives you a significant uptick in views. It grows the subscriber base. It increases your revenue and extends your watch time on YouTube. But it also does this for all the other social media channels because the more content that you are providing, the more chances you are getting of being seen. You're getting more impressions and you're getting more followers, more subscribers, more views, and you're growing exponentially. So uploading more and more content is extremely important. And we're living in an age where long form content is slowly dying and short form content is taking over. People have shorter attention spans. So an agency like this, an AI agency like this is very much needed. And I have one more link here, it's just a contact support. And when you click this, it opens up Gmail with the email address of your business. One more thing on this left side, when the page is loaded, it should automatically start playing. I have it muted right now, but I have it on sound just to show the user what we're capable of. You can click each of these buttons and it changes to give a new example of the short form content that you can create with Opus Clips. Now they don't know you're using Opus Clips. They think you're probably editing this with a team. But the awesome part about this AI agency is you're using AI tools that the creator is not familiar with. So you're able to scale and have a bunch of clients all providing this service for. So back in Bubble, when you get this template, there's a few things you're gonna have to change. Again, you're gonna have to change the logo. This isn't gonna be a Bubble tutorial. Hopefully you have some skills with Bubble so you can get this running. It can work as is, it's not a big deal. And it's pretty self-intuitive. But if you wanna change this logo from the YouTube, just double click it, upload a new logo from your computer. You can change the color here, scrolling down. Let's say you want it to be blue. That would make it blue. Let's reverse that. Same with the button colors. If you want to add more input fields, I think this is a good start. These five right here. It's completely mobile optimized. I'm going to go to the responsive page. They load it on their mobile. It'll look like this. This template's completely ready to go. You also have to go to the workflow and change some of this stuff. When the submit button is clicked right here, what it's doing is creating a new lead in your database. I'll go over the database. It's creating a new lead. You'll have access to that in the app data. This template has no leads because it's brand new. It shows a pop-up that says time to take your channel to the moon. We'll be in touch shortly. And that's gonna send an email to the address that you have here. So you gotta input your own email address here. This is just the default. And it sends you all the information of your new lead. So you can use that email right away and you can contact that client. So it's good for sales. As soon as someone inputs their information as a lead, it's good practice to reach out to them right away. And then I have an extra step where it adds the contact to my SendFox account, which is email marketing, but you can delete that and you can do your own thing. You gotta change the text in the contact support that I showed you earlier. 
gonna open an external website of Gmail, like I said, it's mail too, but you gotta to change to your email address and the rest can be left as is. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you, and I mentioned this earlier, is adding an email address as an editor. So I'm gonna to go to my studio, and let's say I was a channel that was wanting to use this agency. I'd go down and I'd click settings here. I'd go to permissions, zoom this out, and I would click invite, and I'd invite the agency email address so they can edit my channel. So let's go walk through this right now. It'd be the email address. So let's say in my example, I have hey at creator.com. Now it says only email addresses with a Google account can be, so make sure your email address has a Gmail account. So actually for this example, no, I'll just use it right now. And the access is editor limited. So I'm gonna zoom in, see what it says here. Editor limited is the same permission as editor, but can't view revenue data. And you know, you're an agency that's creating short form content. You're not trying to look at their revenue data. So it gives them a little bit more security and privacy when adding you to the account. These other ones are too small of access. It means you can't edit and upload content. You also can't delete content as an editor limited. So there's no worries that they are gonna add you and you're gonna delete and ruin their channel. You also can't respond to comments and stuff. So the editor limited is perfect just for uploading new content. And after they click done, you're gonna get an email address accepting the link. And how it works is in this right corner, when you go switch account, their account is gonna show up as one of the accounts that you can edit in YouTube Studio. I didn't send the invite so I can't show you, but you'll just click into them and it will load their YouTube Studio page where you can go to content, you can go to create, you can upload video, and you'll upload that YouTube short that you created from Opus Clips. And then edit the title and the description and the tags or the hashtags as you normally would. So I think you're asking, how can I get clients for this? So how I would get clients is pretty simple. So let's open a new tab here. Let's go to YouTube. I'd start by picking a niche to target for this short form content. Let's say we wanna do make money online. So I would search that in the search box and I'd go through each of these channels. I try to find channels with not a lot of views and subscribers. I think something like Make Money Matt is a little too big for an agency starting off. They probably have their own team to create short form content. So I tried to find something like, maybe I'd scroll up and I'd go filters. Let's go upload date. And this person's already making short form content, so I'd probably avoid this one. I'd probably look for only long form content. Let's change the filter here. Duration has to be between four and 20 minutes to only catch long form. There you go, something like this person's account, I'd click into it. I'd go to the about section, scroll down. I gotta sign in, so let's go through my other thing. This is my YouTube account. I'd scroll down, I'd click view email address. You gotta complete a captcha, submit. And there we go. We have this person's email address that I would copy. Sorry, Mike, just think of it as free promotion. I'd copy this, I'd go to Gmail, I'd compose a new message, I'd paste his email address in, I don't need the location. And the subject would be something like, I can create short form content automatically for you. And then you'd write just a whole email. You even use ChatGPT to write an email. Go to ChatGPT. I am a short content creator that creates content from long form videos. Write me a cold outreach email to try and nab a new client. It even gives you the subject too. So I'd copy this, even paste that in there. This is pretty long, I'd probably make it shorter, but I just copy this in, replace his name with his channel name. This is Mike Nardi. And I'd send this, and this is how I do cold email outreach. You know, you do 20 of these a day, probably nab at least a client a day. If you're consistent and you're thorough, you could hire people to do this for you. But once I've sent this guy an email, I'd copy his email, and I'd create a new Google Sheets, client outreach for YouTube Shorts, and then in column A would be like email address, date contacted, replied, and create a spreadsheet, bold here, make this a bit bigger, so you can keep track of all the people that you've contacted and if they've replied. Be your own little CRM. Date contacted is October 30th, 2023, and then he has not replied yet. So just do 20 of these a day to grab new clients. Okay, let's close all this. Let's go through a high level overview of this business model again. So it starts with getting clients. You're gonna find clients. You're gonna send them to your landing page. Here it is. It's a completely free landing page on Bubble that I'm gonna provide for you. It's a new template. Just gonna change it to your text and your logo. You're gonna come on this page. 
You're going to find clients by contacting them on YouTube, getting their email address from each of the channels. You're going to keep track of it in a spreadsheet. They're going to come to this page. If it's cold clients, they're going to come to this page. You're going to enter in their email address, their channel URL, their full name, their number of subscribers, and their category. That's going to submit. This lead information is going to come to you. You're going to go on their channel, you're going to download their video, you're going to go to Opus Clips, you're going to paste their video in here, and then you're going to wait for the AI to create short form content from their long form content. You're going to get videos like this, you're going to download these videos, and you're going to post it to their channel or send it to them via email. If they want for an extra step, they can go to their permissions, they can add you as an editor with limited permissions so that you can't delete content. You're gonna use ChatGPT to write the title and video description for SEO, and you're gonna charge them a monthly fee, and that is basically up to you. I'd start with something maybe like $99 per month, and that gives them something, maybe 15 short form clips per month. If they want more, if they want something like 30, you could do maybe $200 a month. As I showed here, there's other stuff that you can provide. You can also post their shorts to the other social media channels like Instagram Reels, TikTok, and Facebook Stories, and you can charge an upsell fee for that premium fee, maybe something like $300 per month, and that gives them 30 days of short form content. You upload it automatically, and then you post it to their other social media channels. So this is an AI agency. It's an AI short form content agency. You're using something like Opus Clips, which does all the hard work for you, takes away all the manual labor of actually editing the content, video editing the content. All you have to do is find clients and upload them to the channel. All right, I hope this was a good video. I hope it gave you some ideas of starting your own business online. Let me know what you think in the comments, or if you have any questions about this AI agency, I'll be sure to help out, and I'll share more of my ideas about this topic. All right, thanks for watching, everybody.